Alright guys, just got orders to ship out. Um, we got about eight or nine there. And um, those are going to be shipped out today. But let's continue on. Alright guys, so what we're going to be doing today is I want to take you guys through a day in the life. But we're pretty much going to go behind the scenes of what we're going to film today. We're going to film a bigger video. And that's going to be what we're going to do is we're going to go out with our buddy Mac. Um, and we're gonna go striper fishing. So Mac pretty much, he guides on the lake and stuff and he texted me and my dad the other day. and was like, hey, I have an open day. How about you guys come and film with me? So we're like, sure, and we never striper fish. So we're like, why not? So today we're not gonna be using live bait. We're gonna be using big spoons, like this big old Ben Parker spoons to catch this big striper. So I'm hoping we're gonna get a lot of good footage. Brought the big camera in the back. I have everything ready. It's gonna be good. So stay tuned. I just got here. I have a lot of camera gear with me. A lot of camera gear. Right here's my big camera. In this bag, got the big camera, got the GoPros, got some drinks and a few snacks, and then I need to get this GoPro mount off of here, and I got this big old mount right here that's going to go on the boat. That should be good. Really? Yeah, I had to buy three hundred dollars. What do you want in the way? And I'll plug that hole in a second. I forgot. I had scuppers out in case it like rained last night. What? So guys, I actually brought my Akuma Helios. This is standard Helios. I apologize for the wind. It's pretty bad out here. And uh, Mac put one of these Akuma cold water reels on it. It's pretty sick. We are ready to go. It's Friday, Chris. I don't know. What's going on team? I'm about to do a little commentary over what we were doing here. It was just so windy guys. It was so bad. So I, I mean I'm pretty much, I'm going to have to do a commentary over this and um, walk you through whatever we were doing. So let's go ahead and start this commentary. So right here, we are pretty much, hold on. All right, we're good. So we our, our main plan was to throw those big spoons or drop those big old Ben Parker spoons down on the fish. They weren't wanting to cooperate. It was hard to find that. So we got um, an umbrella rig and we were going to troll for those stripers. So right here, he's pretty much explaining what we're doing at the moment. Um, actually, no, he's got the big spoon on right now. So right, right now we got the spoons. What we're doing with the spoons is we would look at the graph, 
we would read the graph. We would see how deep those fish are. So see this fish were in 80 foot. He's got one of those little counters on the reel. Drop it down about to 90 foot. Start reeling it up as fast as you can. Like literally pretty fast. All the way back up to 30 foot. Drop it back down again. Reel it back up again. Trying to just entice those fish. Trying to get those fish to bite that bait. Um, and be really aggressive with it. But that was the biggest thing, you know, it's gonna key that reaction bite. So you're dropping it down to wherever the fish are, maybe 10 foot below those fish, ripping it up, dropping it back down, ripping them up, and that should fire that those fish off. You should fire the school off if you're over your school. And we're also dropping this on some timber. I mean, we're dropping this pretty deep. Um, right here, I believe we're in like 50 foot, maybe 40 foot. Um, but you can also do this, you know, in 80 foot, 100 foot, wh wherever those stripers are going to be located. I mean, those stripers go very deep. But at this point in time, we were around at 50 foot. So um, he's actually using the combo that I brought, which is just my Helios. And then he's got that. It, it, that's his own reel on there. Um, right here, I actually just hooked up into the first one. And we actually switched over from the spoon to the umbrella rig. And we were trolling that and picked up this first striper right here. As you can tell, the wind in the background is just ridiculous. It is kicking on and it's just bad. So first fish right there, not too big, nothing big really, um, but still a fish. We got something started. We got we got our first one and um, we we're hoping we're gonna find a good pattern, but really healthy fish out here in this wind, out here in this current, those fish, you know, they, they, they love all that current, they love everything that's pushing the bait and making those fish eat. So right here, just get, trying to get like a little thumbnail going. I mean, not the biggest fish, guys, but you know, it was still fun. First fish of the day, it's going to get us started. So right here, hooked up into a second one. We're doing the same exact thing, except we're actually at a different spot. And um, we're trolling with those umbrella rigs. And pretty much what we're doing, guys, is we'll drop it out there. We'll be trolling at around three miles per hour. So we're trolling at three miles an hour. We will let it go out all the way to where the little thing on there says how far, how much line you have out. All the way to 115 foot. So we'll, we'll let this thing coast out 115 foot and troll with it at three miles an hour. So there's the second fish. It's about the same size as the last one. Um, nothing really big. I was really hoping we were going to get in some like 20, 30 pound stripers. But guys, the weather today was just not the best. Um, it actually ended up raining on us, so it was pretty much, I mean, it was, it was just horrible. So we're using the Captain Max umbrella rig right here. Got it on a Captain Max Akuma rod. He started getting his own rods with Akuma. And the conductor Akuma reel. And pretty much what we're doing is we are letting this thing go out. We're going at like three miles an hour. Um, letting it out about 115 foot. It's got a counter on it so I can tell. And just trolling with it. Like I said, three miles an hour. So it's not too not too fast. Those fish are coming up and eating. But we're trying to find those big ones. Hopefully we can find some. Drop that big spoon on him. Alright, tell me what happened. This one's actually Let's picture this now. They tell you what happened. Here. Excuse me, Noel. This is what? This is fish we're catching on the rig. These fish that are spiked up here in that 20, 25 to 40 foot. He's real catchable with a rig. Deeper oh, than that, kind of tough. Of course he's a good one. He's better fishing line. I don't know if it's going to get tangled up in that one. Well, I'm going to fix that, Noel. Just worry about the one that's on the line. There you go. And one thing we like to do, we like to leave both rigs out. Why is that, you're saying? 
there's one fish, chances are we get two. Usually they won't get tangled. We had to move this one in this case. I always like to leave the other ring of the water and try and get the second fish hooked up. Better. Good looking fish, there you go. Ain't bad. Want you grab him? Okay. Got him? Yep. Alright, well done. There you go. That's a better one, guys. Here. Why don't you get in the picture? Alright. Maybe like a thumbnail guy. There we go. Have a look at this. Well done. Nice fish. I'll tell you what, go ahead, go to, yeah, go 50-30, 50-30, 50-30. Alright, if you're reeling it up, yeah, he's going to try to pull you over the transom. Now, if he bites it on the way down, watch it, it's real subtle. Yeah, if you're reeling it up. Yeah, you're not. So guys, what pretty much happened is I had some more footage. Like I vlogged the rest of the day and I actually vlogged some footage of me literally drenched. Cause like we got right after this, this last clip that you just watched, the sky was like getting really bad and we got drenched. Like when I mean drenched, I was so, it looked like I jumped in a pool. So we got back to the ramp. We had to leave after that because it was pretty much, you know, I'm I'm here to film and if it's raining and I can't film, then really what's the point? And we didn't have any of our rain suits on us. So the trip, I mean, it wasn't the best, but we did still have some fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed a few tips or actually got a few tips out of this video and enjoy the video. Um, but Mac, he's a great guy. If you guys are ever around Lanier, definitely go hit him up. Um, you'll have a great time on Lanier. But we're actually going to, me and him, we're planning. We're like, all right, let's plan again. We're going to go out a few more times in the next couple of weeks and hopefully get some really good striper footage for you guys. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys already know what to do. Please hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment below on what you guys want to see. And I'll be sure to get a lot of stuff out of you guys. But so much content's coming towards you guys. So stay tuned for all that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.